well, just the fact that he's even at this finals is an accomplishment that I think a lot of us over here would never be able to do like he did this year because, you know, I mean, it sounds like the Cinderella story, but it's a true story also that he literally showed up over here by himself, didn't know, you know, didn't know any of us, didn't have a horse, didn't have anything, and learned the language, learned the game, learned a lot of stuff, rode a lot of different horses, roped with somebody that intimidates all of us, and then his rookie year makes the NFR, and that doesn't happen very many times when we all grew up here and are accustomed to what goes on and how we go about it. So I think the level of what he's done is, is set the, a new bar for a lot of people, or everyone, I guess. He's a kind of, he's my hero, you know, he changed the rope. I've been following him a lot, you know, just like all the rodeos, world championship, finals, George Shrake, he's like, he's, he's the man, he's the rope. Now, I'm very happy that you can be friends, you know. I like his family, I'm a little boy, he's really nice, and then he helped me to make the finals. He's very important to make the finals. Everybody helped me, like, between the year, but, like, close to the season be over. I didn't have a horse, and he called me, and he saw my situation, he called me and said, you can take a horse, and he sent the horse to me. You know, that's, that's a part of me. Very, very nice. Because somebody like him, the song is like a lot of compassion to me. He, he, he said, I, need, I want to win, but he didn't win too.